So when you take a look on the board, you can see the various sources of energy. You get energy from all these places. And use them for different purposes. Let's start with food. We get energy from food. When you eat, you get energy. Okay? Any living thing that eats gets energy. And what do they eat? They eat food. Okay, so food is one source of energy. The next is water. I'm sure you know very well that even moving water, let's say a stream that's moving or a river that's moving, it could carry stones. That is work. Okay, that is work. But energy is that is to do work. So anything that could could work, could perform a particular function or an activity, then that thing has energy in it. So even water, moving the stone from one place to another, is having what? Energy in it. So we can get energy from water. Even when you drink water, you get energy. Even when you are hungry and drink water, you feel okay. You can go about your normal activities. Yes. So water is also one source of energy. Wind. Yes. You know that we can even use wind to like produce electricity. You know that. Yes. We can use wind to produce electricity. And out of that, when the wind is blowing, it's able to move the branches, the trees. That's the commonest one that you can relate to. It can move branches. It can cause even pieces of papers on the floor to move. That is one source of energy. Wind. The next one is the sun. The sun is our primary source of energy. Without the sun, we can't get any of these sources of energies. We can't get any of them. So the sun is the sun gives us light. The other side you can see. The, sun is, the sun's energy is used by the plant to manufacture their food, which is photosynthesis. You know about, it, about that already. We did that before we went on the lockdown. So you know it already. So that's the sun. Next is dry cells. Dry cells or batteries. Dry cells, the number of batteries that you, you know. Uh, battery, battery, the number of batteries that you know. Yes. We get energy from them. As I said, different things use different forms of energy. They work in different ways. You cannot use a battery to do anything. What do you need a battery for? Why, if you don't get a battery, you cannot work or what? And you don't need it. But we have other things that need the battery or the, um, the dry cells energy to work. Example is what? Yes, we have touch lights, we have radios, we have so many things, and so many, you know them already. The next one is fuels. When we say fuel, fuel is like you have petrol. We have the diesel and the rest. Kerosene is also a fuel. Okay? They all help things to burn. They help us to get our heat. It help us to get heat energy. That's fuel. Without the fuel, cars cannot move. Okay? So let's move on to the last one. The seventh one. Natural gas. This is natural gas. That's the normal gas that you use in your various homes to cook. And the gas that you use at the various homes to cook. It helps to do some particular thing. What does it help you to do? Produces the heat, and that heat can be used to cook. That natural gas helps you to get heat, and that heat can be used to cook. Hope you are okay. So these are the various forms, sorry, sources of energy. Where we get energy from. Sources means where we get a particular thing from. So sources of energy means where we get energy from. So we get energy from food from water, from wind, from the sun, from dry cells and batteries, from fuel such as petrol, diesel, kerosene, the rest. And the seventh one, from natural gases. Are you okay? So we are done. I got a lesson, I told you that you should be able to tell me five. Five, from your mind. You should be able to tell me five sources of energy. So your assignment is very simple. Write five sources of energy and tell me what they are used for. So for example, if you write food as a source of energy, you explain it. How do we get it, uh, what do we use it for? What do we use the food energy for? So you're gonna be, humans eat food and get the energy from it in order to maybe to learn or in order to work to work or in order to do their activities. And if you want to play, you need energy before you can play. Without energy, you can't play. You, you will feel weak. Okay, yes, so that's it. That's your, that's your assignment. Take a look at something in your textbook. Page 60.
65. Open to page 65 of your science textbook. Thinking time. Thinking time. Thinking time. Answer that question in your exercise book. Take a picture of it and then send it to us on WhatsApp. And then page 66. Thinking time. Another thinking time. So you have two thinking time questions to answer. And then one oral question, which I'm going to answer is by writing it in your book for me. So uh, how many questions is that? Three. First one. First question is you have to write five sources of energy and what they are used for. Two is a taking time on page 65. Today I am weak and cannot walk to school. I am not sick. Explain why I am weak. And the other taking time on page 66 is that name the sources of energy that can be identified in your school community. Only in your school community only. So just think of it and answer it. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.